Okay, so one of the questions if you ask this, um, what then must a sinner Christian do? Confess his sin? This is John, uh, writing under the guidance of God, wrote further. In First John, uh, in First John, um, chapter five, verse nine, it says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness." If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. You see, it's very simple. Um, when we confess our sin to God, we tell him the very sin we have committed. He knows what our sin is, but our confession is the honest acknowledgement to him of our personal sin, notice the verse above it, implies that the confession should be specific, there is a value, there is a mentioning of par particular sins before God, our part is to confess and his part um, to forgive. You know. He says here in verse 8, verse 7 says, But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Son is cleanses us from all sins. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So, I recommend you guys to be humble to God, okay? To give Him, you know, to 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 forgive your sins, you know, to to confess your your sins to Him, and I'm sure He will forgive you too, with all your heart and all your mind. Confess your sin. You see, when when we confess our sins, uh, we must be truthful to Him. We must be truth. To him, we must talk to him. Tell him what we did, the specific things. You know. You see, the scripture shows us for forsaking sins involves putting him to death and seeking things that are above. Since they, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts of things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. But to death. Therefore, wherever belongs to your earthly nature. You know, if we go to college on uh, collision, collision, um, chapter three, verse one and five, it says, "And then you have been raised with Christ. Seek the things." That are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to that, therefore, what is held uh, earthy in you. Fornication, impurity, passion, evil desires, and covetousness, which is adultery. You know, sincere confessions of our sin led to the forsaking of our sins. Says here on Proverbs, talks about this very interestingly. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 he says he who conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confess and forsakes them will attain mercy you see God wants us to confess 
our sin. And he will give us mercy. You see? But if we don't want mercy, we don't want, you know, we believe that, oh, you know, I do whatever I want, then you should not prosper. You know, God wants us to be righteous like He is, you know. And, um, like I say, He's so perfect, okay, that He dislikes sin, right? But He has love to us. He has demonstrated His love uh, to Jesus Christ when He came to save us. You know, it says, um, it's wonderful a restoration, you know. If we have sinned against our fellow man, we have a responsibility to make good of any loss or damage or injury. You see, we will see in Luke uh, 19.8, as uh, Zacchaeus made a restoration after meeting the Lord Jesus. If we go there, we will find out more information on this. It says, And Zacharias stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, you have all my goods. I give you to the poor, and if I defile any one of anything, I restore it for behold. See, we could see that Zacchaeus wants to please the Lord. He wants to give to the poor. That's how we must do the same, you know. Be, um, you know, be humble. Be caring towards others, you know. And uh, not think of yourselves, but others, you know. See, what does the Christian receive when he confesses his sin? If we, if we examine this, forgiveness and cleansing. Remember that First uh, John uh, chapter 1 verse 9 tells us, If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, purify us from all unrighteousness. When we confess our wrongdoings, our loving Father forgives and cleans us. You see, so he restores. Also, important of restoration of fellowship. No, also a fellowship spoken in First uh, John uh, chapter one verse seven. It says, But if we walk in the light, as in the light, we will have fellow with one another. And the blood of Christ is in the Son, cleanses us from all sin. You know, we have the joy of victory over sin. And the, leader, the Lord Jesus Christ told His followers, If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. You see Matthew um, chapter 21 verse 22 he says Whatever you ask in prayer you will receive if you have faith See we will confess our sins and ask forgiveness We receive his forgiveness and we have joy because we know that we are more than conquerors to him who love us. I'm quoting from Romans um, Romans 8 verse 37 this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible uh, it talks about very inspiring words it says no in all things we are more than conquerors to him who love us who love us in Jesus Christ you know who came down and was put to death and also the father you know even as we receive salvation by faith in Jesus Christ so also we receive forgiveness and cleansing restoration of fellowship and the joy of victory over our sins when we confess them to God and by faith believe that he has forgiven us 
and cleans us as a concluding summary of God um, prevention of forgiveness of sin we shall do well to heed the follow wise counsel from you see we need to to keep clearly in our